I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. Welcome to the Black Excellence and Abundance Channel. King James, the first of England, who authorized the translation of the now famous King James Bible, was considered by many to be one of the greatest, if not the greatest monarchs that England had ever seen. Through his wisdom and determination, he united the warring tribes of Scotland into a unified nation, and then joining England and Scotland to form the foundation for what is now known as the British Empire. At a time when only the churches of England possessed the Bible in English, King James' desire was that the common people should have the Bible in their native tongue. Thus, in 1603, King James called 54 of history's most learned men together to accomplish this great task. At a time when the leaders of the world wished to keep their subjects in spiritual ignorance, King James offered his subjects the greatest gift that he could give them, their own copy of the Word of the Most High in English. James, who was fluent in Latin, Greek, and French, and schooled in Italian and Spanish, even wrote a tract entitled Counterblast to Tobacco, which was written to help prevent the use of tobacco in England. King James was a king of Great Britain, Scotland, and Northern Ireland. King James was a black man and the King James Bible is named after King James the first of England, who lived from June 19, 1566 to March 27, 1625. The established church was divided during this era. In 1603, King James called a conference in the Hampton Court in attempt to resolve issues. As a result, a new translation and compilation of approved books of the Bible was commissioned to resolve issues with translations then being used. For example, the Geneva version contained controversial marginal notes that proclaimed the Pope was as an antichrist. The leaders of the church desired a Bible for the people, with scriptural references only for word clarification or cross-references. King James approved 54 scholars to work on the translation and 47 worked in six groups at three locations for seven years, comparing to previous English translations such as the Geneva Bible and text in the original languages. The new translation was published in 1611 and called the Authorized Version because it was authorized to be read in the churches. It later became known as the King James Version. King James was the first to succeed in perfecting the English translation of the Bible. He successfully distributed around the world. King James gathered Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek scholars who were also well versed in the English language. Many among these scholars were black. Medieval Hebrew had been widely used by the Moors, along with Arabic because a large portion of the Moors were Israelites. The blacks of Scotland had Ethiopian Hebrew ancestry, and they shared the same history of the Hebrew monarchs of Ethiopia. King James himself could trace his ancestry to the tribe of Judah. The name James, meant to supplant, was interchangeable with the name Jacob. In Europe, the letter J was not used until the time of King James, whose team of scholars, who included some of Hebrew extraction, was responsible for its introduction in the English alphabet. Names like Judah and Jesus were pronounced as Yahuda and Jesus, respectively, until the time of King James. This is something that many of our subscribers and viewers of this channel have pointed out in previous videos in the comment section. The King James translation had a significant influence on the English language and was widely accepted as the standard English Bible. 
Because of the project being overseen by King James and the care and precise attention to detail during this seven-year translation, the King James Bible was considered one of the most accurate translations in existence. This black king was the first to sit on three thrones at once, which was Scotland, England, and Northern Ireland. The King James 1611 Bible also included the Apocrypha. For various reasons, 14 books were subsequently taken out of the 1611 King James Bible. Thankfully, the 1611 King James Version is still available, which includes the Apocrypha. We would also like to point out that the Moors settled in Spain and Southern Europe in 711 CE. Significant numbers of black people found their way to Northern Europe countries such as Scotland, Ireland, France, and Denmark. Since the beginning of the first millennium, the nations of Scotland and Ireland had a significant number of blacks who in Scotland welded political power as the kings and rulers. This is a little known fact in black history. In 1565, Queen Mary was married by her cousin, a black Scottish man of the royal family who was called Darnley. Darnley was killed in 1567, but he had left the queen a male heir of her own lineage. Queen Mary's son James was born a few months before his father's murder. Thus, he became the first king of England. James VI was therefore the son of a black man and a colored woman. We often hear about black royalty in Africa, but it is a little known fact that there was actually royalty in Europe as well. Yes, folks, King James, the translator of the Bible, was a black man. Let me say, one of the translators of the Bible, as you know, the Bible has been translated many, many times, but the most popular version in use in America for many years has been the King James Version. His actual version was the King James 1611, which included the Apocrypha. The Black Excellence and Abundance Channel, where black history is every day. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember, thou art rich.